is like no other. Strength like no other. Reach out to me. You are my strength. Strength like no my peace you are my peace anybody need peace peace like no Anybody need hope? You are my hope. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. And it reaches, reaches to me. Come on, tell the Lord, say, reaches to me. Reaches to me. No matter where you go, it reaches, reaches to me. No matter who you are, he reaches, reaches to me. His blessings flow to you. Reaches to me. It reaches to me. Reaches to me. No matter how much wrong you've done, say, reaches to me. He'll reach out his hand, say, reaches to me. It reaches to me, reaches to me. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is a wonderful day to give praises unto the Lord and to lift him up and to magnify his name. Yes, it God is. is good and he is worthy of all of the praise. We ask that you would join us in worship. We're excited to be with you Thank in worship God. today. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us with Zoom and social media this morning as we come to lift up the Lord Jesus Christ and have a good time Amen. in the Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 I called to worship this morning. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within your gates, O Jerusalem. For day and I court to better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. And those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is in this holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O sing it to the Lord a new song, for, for he, he has, has done marvelous things. things. Make, Make a, a joyful, joyful noise unto the Lord. Lord. All, all the earth, earth sing his praises. praises. Join us in singing, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord, page 390. Verse 1. I was alone and idle, I was a sinner too. I heard a voice from heaven say there is work to do. I took the master's hand and I joined the Christian. 
Praise the Lord. Let us look to the Lord in prayer this morning. Father, we come now in Jesus' name to thank you, O God, for this is the day that you have made. We can rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, O God, as we have a now opportunity to invite and to invoke your presence in this worship experience. God, come on, Holy Spirit, and show up and show out. Move from heart to heart, breast to breast, from camera to camera, to Zoom to Zoom. O God, in the name of Jesus, uh, that we might experience your power and your presence in this worship experience. Oh God, get into singing, get into praying get into preaching get into scripture lesson oh god get into fellowship that you might be glorified come on king jesus and ride on into our experience oh god that we might see you high and lifted up that your glory might fill this holy temple oh god in the name of jesus souls might get saved folk might be healed and delivered oh god in the name of jesus come on jesus uh, and bless us and we shall be blessed uh, bless everyone oh god is joining in in our worship experience whether they're in person or whether whether they're in Zoom, whether they're in uh, social media, whatever the need is, God, meet it in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we thank you, God, uh, that you showed up and showed out. We thank you, God, that the devil has already been defeated in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God, we glorify you because, God, we know that you're going to be in our midst. Uh, come on, God, show us a word. Uh, come on, God, show up and be glorified in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God, we're going to give you some praise today. We're going to give you some glory. God, we're going to clap our hands. We're going to stomp our feet. We're going to wave our hands, oh God, because you are on the throne. And we thank you for coming by Queen Chapel today and blessing us with your presence. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Come on, let the friends of God say amen. And amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Let us consider the word of God this morning for the edification of the body of Christ here assembled. If you have your Bibles with you, we encourage your attention in Psalm 79. Psalm 79, reading out of the New King James Version of the Bible. And we will start there at verse number 9 and read down through to verse number 13. When you have found it, you can say amen. Psalm 79 out of the New King James Version of the Bible. And the word of the Lord says to us today, Help us, O God, of your salvation for the glory of your name and deliver us and provide atonement for our sins for your name's sake. 
Why should the nations say, where is their God? Let there be known among the nations in our sight the avenging of the blood of your servants which have been shed. Let the groaning of the prisoner come before you according to the greatness of your power. Preserve those who are appointed to die and return to our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom. Their reproach which, with which they have reproached you, O Lord. So we, your people and sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. God's word for the people of God. Somebody ought to say thanks be to God. From all the dwells below the skies. summary of the Decalogue. Hear what Christ our Savior saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself and on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The glory patre. Lord saints, we have come to the point in the service where we're asking that if you have any special prayer petitions unto the Lord, that you would take this time to just lift up personal prayer petitions and even praises unto our God. We want you to write in the chat if you have a special petition that you would like for us to lift as well. At this time, let us seek the Lord in prayer. we come in the name of Jesus to magnify and to glorify, to lift your name up on high. God, we thank you that your word says that men and women are always to pray and not to faint. God, we know that somebody here today probably felt like fainting even within last week, but God, we thank you, Lord, that you have blessed each and every one of us. You brought us through a lot of things, Lord God. Some were good and some may not have been so good, but God, we say thank you, Lord, that you have brought us over the highways and the byways of life. And God, we say thank you, Lord, that you brought us even to this point. And Father, as we come right now, we humble ourselves in the mighty presence of the almighty God. And we pray, oh God, that you would forgive us of any sins that we've committed, oh God. Wash our hearts and our hands and our minds. And oh God, wash our feet. God, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And God, as we come before your throne of grace and mercy, we pray that you would look upon each and every one of us with mercy, God. We pray, oh God, as we we thank you, Lord, that you are a healer, God, that you are our Jehovah Rophe. Oh, God, we thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, the God who not only sees, but the God who also provides. Somebody here may be praying, Lord, because they don't know how they're going to make ends meet. God, they don't know where the rent money is coming from. They may not know where the money is coming to buy groceries this week, but oh, God, we pray right now that you would provide, supply all of our 
our needs according uh, to your riches and glory, oh God. And Father, if there's anybody here who's sick, Lord God, who is having pain in their body, oh God. Oh God, somebody may have went to the doctor, God, uh, and the doctor said that they don't have the answer for their situation. Uh, but God, we thank you that you are our healer. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, as we call on Jehovah Rophe. Uh, oh God, in the name of Jesus, uh, we're praying right now, God, that you would bless not only those who are lifting themselves in prayer, but God, uh, we pray, Lord, for the one that they're lifting as well, oh God. Somebody is praying uh, for their family member. Somebody may be praying for a son or a daughter, for a parent, oh God, oh God, uh, for a grandparent. Uh, somebody is praying because somebody got the news uh, that they were positive for COVID, Lord God. But Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, that you have blessed us, God, thus far along the way. God, heal, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we're praying right now as somebody is grieving, Lord God. Father, lift up their bowed down head, Lord. Dry their weeping eyes, oh God, and let them know that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. God, we're asking that you would bless us, Lord. You know what's on our hearts and in our minds, oh God. Father, we're asking that you'll walk up and down these streets, Lord God. Father, where there are crooked places, God. Father, we're praying that you would apply the blood of Jesus. Uh, oh God, protect the one who may be on the street corner right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, and bring them all for the street corners, oh God. Father, we're praying right now that you would have mercy upon us, oh God. Wash us, oh God. Wash these streets, oh God. Father, wash the individuals who don't have any hope in their mind, oh God, who are walking around hopeless, oh God, and oh God, who are perpetrating crimes against others, oh God. Oh Father, we're praying for healing, not only in Louisville, but oh God, throughout the world, God. Father, we know that this pandemic is raging, but oh God, we thank you that you are still glorified, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the science. We thank you, Lord God, for the vaccines. We thank you for the boosters, oh God. But oh God, we know that without you, we can't do anything. So God, work through the medication. Work through the vaccines, oh God. And oh Father, give us hope. Give us peace. Bless our children, God. Father, just keep your hand of protection and mercy upon each and every one of us, oh God. Have your way, God. Father, we ask it all in the blessed and mighty and miraculous name of Jesus. Let all of the friends of God say amen, amen, and amen. Come on and put your hands together and rejoice and give God some praise if you know and believe that God heard your prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Good morning. I bring you greetings from Quinn Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Louisville, Kentucky. We are so blessed to have you worshiping the Lord with us this Sunday. And it is in our service at this time that I recognize you for visiting with us. Perhaps it's your first time or you've been with us before. On behalf of our pastor, Reverend Troy I. Thomas, and our first lady, the Reverend Dr. Maxine Thomas, all of our pastoral staff, officers, and members, we bring you greetings. Thank you for choosing Quinn Chapel as your place of worship. Don't make this your first time for visit us anytime, for doing the service at any time. If you would like to join our church family, leave us a chat in the chat room or drop us a line. We will be glad to get back with you. For we're not a perfect church but we are striving for perfection. And as we enter into the holiday season, we would like to wish you a great holiday. Have a great Sunday. Thank you so much for being a blessing to the ministry of Quinn Chapel. Please use your mailing envelopes to send your donation, your offering to Quinn Chapel's address, or you may use Cash App, dollar sign Quinn Louisville. Thank you. Thank you so much. Heaven. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. So give God the highest praise, acknowledge in him always. And all the people say, Halle, 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 Halle,
Praise the Lord, everybody. We thank God that we've been having church this morning. Somebody ought to go ahead and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Go ahead and type in the chat. Amen. Amen. We thank God that God is in the blessing business. Uh, to the Reverend Dr. Maxine Thomas, our assistant pastor, first lady, amen. To our officers and members of our church, as well as our ministerial staff members who have assembled with us via social media uh, this morning. We thank God for all of you, amen. And for those saints who are praying that God might bless in a mighty and a marvelous way. Thank you to all of our visitors this morning for joining in in worship. We glorify the God of our salvation. Amen and amen. If you have your Bibles, we encourage your attention again to the Old Testament scripture of reading that was lifted up earlier from Psalm 79. Psalm 79, while the pericope reads from uh, verse number 9 down to verse 13, we just want to lift up uh, two verses for consideration, the end part of this text of Psalm 79, starting there at verse number 12. And the Bible says to us, and speaks to all of us here assembled, and return to our neighbors sevenfold in their bosom, their reproach which they have reproached you, O Lord. So we, your people and sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. Will you show forth your praise to, we will show forth your praise to all generations. Let me read that last verse again. So we, your people and sheep, of your pasture will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. God's word for the people of God. Somebody ought to say thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father, we come now in Jesus' name. We ask God that you would be in our midst. We acknowledge where we all have fallen short of your glory by thought, word, and deed. And pray, God, that there would not be a hindrance between your word and our souls. Speak to us this morning, O oh God, through your word, even as you hide me behind the cross and allow the true preacher to come forth. As now, God, your word goes forth with power and with excellence to accomplish that which you desire in this place. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Come on, let the friends of God say amen. Amen. Again, from Psalm 79, verse number 13, with emphasis there in that latter part of verse 13, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Amen. For a few minutes this morning, we want to preach from this subject. Go ahead and show God all about it. Go ahead and show God all about it. Go ahead 
and show God all about it. Amen. Go ahead. One of the problems in the church is that we don't go forth to do those things that we declare that we really want to do. In the end of 2021, some of us made a commitment that we were going to show God and do God and show God our best. We were going to go forth in those things that God promised us to do last year, but somehow we did not follow suit with it. But this morning, God wants you to go ahead and do it anyway. It's time to go ahead and and show God all of the glory, the praise that you desire to give him. Some of us have been holding back on our praise. Some of us have been limited in our thoughts and worship to God simply because we have not been in the church that we really want to be in the time frame. Amen. In other words, because of this pandemic that has been continuously going on now almost two years, we find ourselves struggling with the notion of what is it that God really wants from me? Is it the best that I want to give of myself? service? Uh, am I limited in giving God praise? Uh, am I limited in worshiping God? Am I limited in giving God all that I can because I'm not where I really want to be? Uh, I really wanted to read the entire Bible, uh, but I got stuck in Genesis. Uh, I really wanted to pray for an hour, Dr. Max, uh, but I got caught up and only prayed for five minutes. Uh, I really wanted to lift up my holy hands last year, but I found myself not being in the sanctuary, but I'm here to let somebody know, go ahead and do it anyhow because God wants the people to show forth uh, his glory show forth his praise uh, and the scripture says to all generations uh, amen amen we got to go ahead and do it anyway uh, we got to go ahead and do those things that God called us to do the psalm right here in Psalm 79 uh, provides for us an inclination uh, a one of an encouragement amen as a psalm writer is ascribed to uh, the uh, Asaph uh, one of the followers one of the disciples of David uh, one of the worshipers amen Amen. He was what we would call the worship leader. Amen. He was one that gave God glory, honor, and praise. He reminds us of the inheritance that was given to the children of Israel. Amen. The nation shall be called blessed. The nation shall be filled with God's glory. The holy temple had been defiled, but he still reminded them that they still have to come back and give God glory, honor, and praise anyway. Oh, the Psalm of Asaph reminds us that every now and then when things around you have been destroyed, even when the enemy seems like he has the upper hand. That's not a time to quit and throw in the towel. That's a time to go ahead and give God praise anyhow. I'm here to remind somebody that even though you lost some stuff last year, even though it seems like you had a few setbacks, that's not to prevent you from thanking God from where he's brought you from. Somebody ought to get excited this morning that God wants you to go ahead and praise him anyhow. God wants you to go ahead and lift up his name. Name. Help me, Asaph. Help me, help me. Look at the text. The Bible reminds us uh, uh, that not only did Asaph remind the people uh, of the, the psalm writer here, uh, he reminded them that there was nations that received inheritance, uh, but also in the midst of devastation. Uh, there were those that were destroyed. Uh, there were people that died in devastation. Uh, there were those that did not have enough food. Uh, not even the birds could be eaten for fed. Uh, oh, Amen. the saints could not receive uh, the blessings of the beasts of the earth. Uh, there was blood in the waters that was shed. Jerusalem was destroyed. Jerusalem became a desolate place. And the question now becomes, where is your God? They dealt with scorn. They dealt with diversion. They dealt with uh, reproach. And they got upset with God. Come on, somebody. And they asked, how long, Lord? How long will your anger be towards us? How long will you be upset? How long will your generous jealousy burn like a fire against us? And the Bible reminds us that God is a jealous God. I'm here to remind the church, don't ever get caught up in yourself and think that you're better than who you are. Don't ever think that you're greater than the God of our salvation because God is a jealous God. Yes, he brought damnation against Jerusalem, but I'm so glad that even in the midst of damnation, he reminds the church that go ahead and praise me anyhow because I'm still of the God of your salvation. Somebody ought to say amen. Oh, my, my, my. Look, look, look here. 
even though even though the place of Jerusalem and Jacob uh, was devoured and laid waste in verse number seven but the Bible says God don't remember my former iniquities against me ah uh, here's where the text begins to shift uh, go ahead and type shift in the in the text uh, uh, there in the chat room uh, here's where the Bible shifts Dr. Max uh, because before everything before here was about the devastation and desolation uh, of Israel about the Jerusalem uh, and the places of Jacob uh, and the dwelling place uh, uh, it laid in ruins and waste but verse 8 says oh God do not remember my former iniquities uh, against me don't hold to my account uh, the stuff that I did let your tender mercy uh, show speedily to meet us uh, I am so glad uh, every now and then uh, I am thankful to God uh, that he forgot about my former ways uh, I'm thank God uh, that the blood of Jesus uh, has covered a multitude of sins uh, is there anybody here that can get excited this morning God is showing you mercy God is showing you I forgot about it you keep bringing up stuff uh, that God has forgiven you of. you keep bringing up stuff uh, that God said I forgot about it and threw it into the sea of forgetfulness uh, go ahead and shout anyhow go ahead and praise him anyhow I know the devil wants to remind you of what you used to do uh, and remind you of where you used to go uh, and the folk you messed over but how many are so glad God does not remember our iniquities say yes oh my 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 here's where the shift in the text takes place not only that but he also recurrences us God help us of our salvation help us oh Lord great that we might bring glory to your name I'm here to remind somebody that every now and then even though you had a place on your life that you forgot about what God had really done for you but now God says he hasn't forgotten about you and every now and then you got to cry out and say Lord help us because you're the God of our salvation I just want to glorify your name is there anybody here that can get excited this morning to know that all you need to do is say help us Lord because I know the sins of the world I know the sins of atonement I know God I don't have enough to offer to you I know God I don't have enough doves I don't have enough bulls I don't have enough sheep to make a sacrifice but what I have is my heart Lord here's my heart take it God use me to your glory and honor help us Lord somebody ought to say help us Lord we need to get to a place that we have asked God to forgive us help us Lord we need to get to a place that the Lord can work it out help us Lord somebody ought to say yes oh my 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 and then and here's becomes the controversial aspect of this text for me is that even as Asaph the writer and of the psalm gets us to a place of shifting the question now becomes rhetorical and controversial as he opens up in verse number 10 why should the nation say where is their god in other words asaph is referring to the other places of the Amorites, the Hittites, the Canaanites, the Aemeites, come on somebody, the Baptistites, the Pentecostalites, uh, who are questioning because God has allowed Jerusalem to be destroyed, Dr. Max, uh, and that he allowed Jerusalem to go through a desolation period. Uh, he allowed Jerusalem and the people to be burned and killed uh, in some cases, amen. He allowed them to be destroyed uh, and now the enemy has now had the mitigated goal uh, to sit high on their little throne. Uh, I said little throne because they're not on God's own and stand and be an accuser and ask the question to the children of Israel now where is your God come on somebody every now and then when you're going through your lowly points every now and then when you stepped out and messed up don't you know there's always an accuser of the brethren wanted to know where is your God now I thought last Sunday you was in church praising God I thought last week in Bible study you were giving God glory I thought on watch night you thank God for another year 
but now where is your God? After you done messed up, after he had punished you, after he has brought his wrath against you, now where is your God? Well, devil, I'm glad you asked. Where is my God? My God is still sitting on the throne. My God is still worthy of all the praises. My God is still blessing. Is there anybody here that knows where your God is? I'm so glad a songwriter put it this way. And he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me that I am his own. Is there anybody here that knows where God is? Paul said it this way, that God is a present help in the time of trouble. David said it, but I am so glad that I serve a God that has not gone anywhere. He's the same yesterday as he is today and forevermore. Somebody say yes. Oh, my, my, my. Let me, let me hasten, get down to this particular text. A focus this morning. The Bible says here, verse number 13, so we, God, your people and the sheep of your pasture, we will give you thanks forever. Come on, somebody. The Bible says, even though there were those who made ridicule of the children of Israel, and if you ever been ridiculed because of your Christianity, you can identify. If you ever been called out because you go to church, come on, somebody. You can identify because you listen to gospel music, because you say praise the Lord every now and then, because you have a cross and know how to bless and know how to pray. Somebody wants to bring reproach against you. But even those that brought reproach against the, those who were children of Israel, God always comes back and reminds folk that even though they had a reproach against you, they're not God. I am so glad that the Bible says so we, your people and your sheep of your pasture. I just want to remind somebody that we're God's people. Go ahead and type God's people. When you're God's people and you're God's sheep, he's going to take care of you. How do I know that? Because David said that God is my shepherd. And because I'm his sheep, he knows how to take care of me. I know that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but I'm not going to fear any evil. Is there anybody here glad that you're God's people? I'm not talking about Kirk Franklin singing that we're God's people. I'm talking about the people who are chosen, the ones that are anointed, those that have been called out, those that have been delivered, those that have got saved, those that go ahead and praise God anyhow. Is there anybody here that can declare I'm one of God's people? I am so glad I'm part of God's army. God's people, not only that, not only that. Look here, look here. The Bible says, we will give you thanks forever. We will give you thanks forever. Catch it, catch it. Not only are we God's people, but we have to know how to give. Somebody say, go ahead and give. And, and, and we ought to give thanks forever. That's what the Bible encourages us. Asaph, the writer, re encourages us here to go ahead and give God thanks forever. What does that mean? That simply means uh, that I have to go ahead and give God anyhow praise. Uh, I got to go ahead and give God thanks uh, forever. And it never means that I'm not constantly 24 7 just clapping my hands. Uh, it doesn't mean in the context of what some think that it becomes ridiculed uh, and becomes uh, 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 that you become clownish uh, or in a perspective perspective that all you're doing is saying every time you open your mouth is praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. No, you can't function that way. But what it means is that I am giving all that I have to God. That's why the Bible reminds us, and even as AMEs, that we have to remind ourselves, amen, that I give my heart, my soul, and my mind unto the Lord. Everything that I am, it belongs to God. I'm so glad that when I give God the best of my service, he'll understand better by and by. Is there anybody here that you want to give God all that you have? You want to give God all the thanks that you have? I know I don't have enough tongues. I know I don't have enough hands. I don't know. I know I don't have enough of a voice to give God all the praise and all the thanks forever. But every now and then all I have to do, Evangelist Pete, is pause long enough and go ahead and give God a shout anyhow. Is there anybody here that can say Yes, God, I give you my best. I give you my praise. I give you the glory. Go ahead and say yes. Woo, my, my, my. Not only, not only are we God's people, 
not only do we have to have a mindset of giving to God, but the end part of this is that close this message out. We shall, we shall, we shall, we will. This determined, is predestined, it's already set. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Amen. My last point, and I'm going to take my seat. We have to get to a place that we're showing forth the praises to God to all generations, all generations, all generations. Part of the challenge in the church and modern Christianity today, we have seen a major decline. Amen. And one of the great George Bonner books that talks about the decline of the church, talk about how churches, and he is a Christian, um, what you call economist in, in, in a sense. Uh, he studies numbers. He does surveys. Uh, he does inquiries to membership. Uh, why are people leaving the church? Uh, why are people joining the church? Uh, how long should church people be in church? Uh, and amen. And he comes with an, an, an analytical perspective. Uh, and he looks at the things about generations. Uh, and he has discovered in one of his books, he talks about uh, that one of the churches, why the church is dying. Uh, it's because there's been a change in generational blessing to God. Amen. Changes in generational praise to God. And some of us know what I'm talking about. There's some folk that don't want to come to where grandmama used to worship. They don't want to come to the church where their granddaddy used to be a deacon. They don't want to come to the church singing songs and old landmark. They don't want to come to the church as they describe it as being dead. They want to come to a live church. They want to come to a church that's exciting. They want to come to a place of worship. Every now and then we got to get to a place uh, that just because you're older, just because you're younger, we can still multi-generation uh, in our praise to God. I am so glad. It's not about the oldest member. It's not about the youngest member. But God says everybody ought to go ahead and praise him. That's why the psalm writer said, let everything uh, that have breath uh, go ahead and praise the Lord. Uh, that means no matter how old you are, how young you are, you can still give God praise. Uh, it's a generational praise. I am so glad that every now and then I got to think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me and my soul cries out hallelujah thank God for salvation. Whether I got saved at a young age, whether you got saved at an old age, it's a generational blessing. Somebody ought to say yeah. Go ahead and praise him anyhow. Go ahead and shout anyhow. Go ahead and do it. Go forth and do what God asked you to do. Show praise to God and all generations shall follow. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. We ought to show forth the praises of God. Show forth how God continues to bless us in the spite of everything else. Come on, Dr. Max, help us open up to extend the invitation of Christian discipleship. Amen. Go ahead and do it anyhow. We do praise anyhow. God. Hallelujah. Praise for the him. man of God and for how he preached with such power Hallelujah. today. We praise God because we know that God's word has fallen on good soil today. So as we open the doors of the church, Thank extend you, the invitation to Christian discipleship, we are wondering if there's anybody Is here on Zoom today and well, you do not remember a day or a time that you personally invited Jesus to come into your heart and be your personal Lord and Savior. Amen. The Bible says, for all have, all sinned, have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Well, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but that you. the gift of God is eternal, eternal life. life. The you, Bible God. says that Jesus died for us. He was buried. Well, and on the third day, he arose from the dead. That's the gospel. That's the good news the of good Jesus news. Christ. And the good news is that he's coming back again. From he's coming for generation. a church without a spot That's or right. wrinkle. That's and right. the question is, are you ready? Are you ready? If you're here and you're not sure, not sure. we want you to make a decision for Christ today. We want you to say yes, yes. to Jesus today. Write your name in the chat. Thank you. Write your email address and or your phone number and let us know that you want to be saved and or that you have prayed the prayer of salvation Join for the, the first church. time today. We want you to repeat after 
back to us in prayer. And if you're not a member of a church, after you say this prayer, we want you to also write your name in the chat that you want to make your membership with Quinn Chapel AME Church That's here it. in Louisville, Kentucky. Amen. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Please repeat after us. Lord, Lord, thank you. Thank you. For loving me. For loving me. Even though I'm a sinner. Even though I'm a sinner. Jesus, Jesus, I believe, I believe that you died for me. You died for that me. That you were buried. You were buried. And on the third day, you arose from the dead. And on the third day, you arose from the dead. Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my and heart and save me. And save me. I accept you. I accept you as my personal, as my personal Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming to live. For coming to live within me. Within me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If Hallelujah. you got saved this morning, want to join the church, go ahead and let us know in the chat. One of the ministerial staff members will get back with you Amen. Uh, as yes. soon as possible. Yes. Amen. We thank God that God is a thank blessing God. God. Amen. We've had Amen. church today. Yes, go ahead and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Lord. Amen. There in the type, chat type. Amen. 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 God has certainly blessed us in a marvelous way. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Maxine. Amen. You, Amen. As we continue to praise God. God and bless him. Thank you to our musician ministry, our music staff. Amen. amen. To our sound, to our tech team. Amen. amen. Thank you there. Amen. For being a blessing. Amen. To all of those assembled and worshiped this morning. Amen. Thank you for joining in here at Quinn Chapel Amy Church in the beautiful city of Louisville, Kentucky. We thank God that he is an awesome God. Let's go ahead and give the Lord a hand clap of praise Hallelujah. for the great things he's already done thank in his Lord. word. Amen. It penetrates amen. our hearts this day. Amen. With all hearts and minds are clear. Amen. Let us receive the benediction and following the benediction will be our doxology. Now unto him who's able and willing and desires to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before his throne of grace and mercy, is to the all-wise, the all-knowing, the all-giving God who encourages us this morning to uh, go ahead and go forth, amen, and allow God to be glorified in your life from generation to generation. And may his joy, his peace, and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit now rest with you and abide with you henceforth now and forevermore. And the friends of God say together, amen, amen, amen. and amen. 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 Join hands across the church and let's lift up our doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow.